One of the most important goals of Module 3 is that you leave the module understanding that there is a definite place for both search engines and databases. And not only do we use these items for academic um, pursuits, projects, assignments that teachers give us, but that you can just do authentic research from curiosity, things that you find fascinating, um, things that you, you read about and want to know more about. And that's exactly what we want to pass on to our students, too, is that um, research isn't just an assignment. Um, it can also be just a personal curiosity. And so let me give you a scenario that can show you how you might use both search engines and databases um, in a curious pursuit. So let's say that I have recently finished reading um, the Stephen King novel, The Shining, and I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was so fascinating. I, I sped through it. What a great read. But I'm curious. Uh, a friend of mine tells me that the book was, the idea for the book came from um, a, a stay that Stephen King had at a hotel called The Stanley in Estes Park, Colorado. And so, again, I'm, I'm even more curious. I'd like to know more about this hotel and, and to see a picture of it. I want to know what it looks like. I'm quite curious. And so my first instinct is to go to Google and to look it up because that's where I can find current information, pictures, to give me a sense of, of the exciting place that I'm looking for. So I'm going to look it up here. And as you can see right away, um, I have some great pictures of the area around the hotel. Look at these beautiful pictures of the hotel itself. I now have an image in my head. I can picture it, and I know what I'm thinking about when I talk about the Stanley Hotel. Um, perhaps I'd want to look into staying at the hotel, and you can see here from the green hyperlink or the green website address here that this link will take me right to the hotel's main website. Um, I can read Google reviews of people's stays at the hotel. Here's the address and the phone number. I can give them a call, or I can book a trip right here and um, get my trip started. If I look a little further, maybe I want to do some searching for some good flight deals. And so here's an Expedia.com site where I can look up good flights. Um, knowing that the Stanley had some kind of some, has some kind of hauntings and ghosts and things, um, I could read about that here from the hotel's website, the haunted history of the hotel. But of course, in my mind, I know that the hotel's objective is to get me to stay there. They'd like my money, and they would like me to stay there and spend money there. And so my curiosity is a little deeper. I'd like to know other people's perspectives about the hotel and their experiences, maybe even read more about Stephen King's experience at the hotel, and that's where a database could really help me. And I have already pre-searched um, to make this a little quicker. Um, you will be learning more about the searching in a database in a, in a module in the future, so stay tuned. But I have done all that work for you, so I'd like you to join me here. I've done a one search for Stanley Hotel Hauntings, and the one search pulls up all the things in all the databases connected to Destiny. And I'm going to show you what I found in the Gale Academic One file. Um, the first one I want to show you is this article here. Let's say on my trip I'd like to visit some other places in Colorado where I could have some cool experiences. And so from the New York Times in 2012, that's pretty current, um, I can read about some other things going on in the Rocky Mountain National Park, in Estes, but I also notice here I'm getting some hits on the word ghosts. Um, I'm getting a look at the Stanley Hotel. I can learn more about it just like I wanted to. I have some information here about Stephen King's stay, um, and I can just read on here and really settle my curiosity and probably get even more curious about my trip and the things I'd like to see. And so this would be a great place for me to start. Another article I wanted to point out to you was not so much an article, it's a transcript from a newscast. It's from um, a radio transcript talk from Talk of the Nation in 2004, and as I'm scrolling, I'm noticing this is a very long article, and so I'd like to show you a shortcut that I use all the time when I'm searching for something very specific. If you're on a Mac, you'll use Command F. If you're on a, a PC, it'll be Control, but Command or Control F pulls up this box where you can type a word or phrase that you're interested in looking at. So I'm going to find the word Stanley. 
and it'll point me toward the area of the article where I want to start reading. This is the part I'm interested in. And so I can read here from an expert. Notice here it's a tour guide of the hotel. He knows what he's talking about. Um, so I'm going to read a bit about the hotel's history, maybe learn about Stephen King a little bit more, and I can get some more information for myself. This would not be available through a, a regular search engine search. So I'm going past that into some paid results. And so what I'm hoping that you can tell here is by using both the search engine Google um, and my databases, I'm getting a very well-rounded picture of my topic. I'm really getting some great deep information that I can then take with me and use further or settle my curiosity. And this was not an assignment. This is a personal, authentic uh, search result that I have pursued and, and found information for. I hope this can really help you in the future.